Hello creatives! Before we can get started with our art projects for this week, we have to make some paints. Some of you may not have watercolors at your house, and that's been limiting us on the projects we've been doing. So we're going to do some experiments using some common everyday items that you probably have in your house. And I'm going to give you some couple of suggestions and options on what you can do if you do not have exactly what I'm proposing for us to use and I'm mixing up. So we do not necessarily need this green. So if you have blue, red, and yellow, you can do everything that we are going to be um, working on. If not, you can be creative because you could be using some other supplies like maybe sprinkles that I have here. I have green sprinkles and I also have some red sprinkles. Now these, we're going to see how they do compared to our other food coloring. So I didn't have green I mean, I didn't have blue in my sprinkles, but you can just kind of figure it out and figure out what you do have. And this over here is coffee. So there's other some common spices and coffee that you can use if you want to make your own watercolors with other um, types to value. So let's get started kind of experimenting with um, our food coloring. You're first going to need water. So I'm just going to put a very small amount of water into three separate dishes for my food coloring. And then I'm going to have some water over to the side, and that's where we're going to put our sprinkles. But again, it's very little amount. I'm going to start with this blue right here. And I'm going to start, and I'm just going to see what two drops of this blue will do. And if I take my brush and I stir it, ooh, it's kind of nice, right? It's kind of deep, dark. You can kind of see what that looks like right here. Pretty good. I might try and add actually two more drops. And then see if that changes things. A little bit more intense, a little bit more blue. So I think I like where this is going. So let's go ahead and try out with um, red and yellow and see what it does. Now yellow, traditionally, you're going to need more of a very light value. But I'm going to start out with four of those drops in my yellow. That's not bad at all. So I definitely can see that the blue and the yellow in here. Now let's try the red, four drops of my red. And definitely in my um, containers, you definitely can see that red, yellow, and blue. Now let's see how this compares to what the sprinkles will do. So again, I've added a very small amount and I generally just like to cook this way. I just put a dab of pinch of salt in my hand and that's the way I kind of measure. So I just kind of put a, a little handful, maybe a tablespoon, of those crystals in there. Now, I don't feel like it's quite as intense as the others, but you can definitely see there is a little bit um, of that green color. So I'm going to add a little bit more sprinkles. And I've noticed that it takes a little bit longer for this to dissolve. It doesn't dissolve right away because it's sugar crystals. So I think I'm going to blend a little bit more with my brush. Now let's try out the red. Again, I'm going to add more of that red because I had two on the green, and then I'm going to stir that around. Ooh, not a fan. I don't know what kind this is. This one is Betty Crocker, and this one, I, it's not, I don't know. The Betty Crocker doesn't seem to be doing as well. So you might have to just test out what yours are going to do so that you can get the color consistency that you like in here. So again, I definitely like the food coloring option best. So if you have that as your option, because you have some of it left over from any icing that you've been decorating cakes with. And then this is my coffee. So this is my leftover coffee from the morning. And I know I got a nice brown. So top picks, I like food coloring the best. But again, you have to figure out what's best for you. Alright, so your first job is, is to mix your colors so you can get ready to paint. 